Okay, guys, here we go. I got to do audio commentary to this video. This is me arriving at Salt Lake City in uh, uh, the uh, Prime Terminal. But the dash cam did not pick up sound, so I'm going to do it uh, manually here. Here we go. We're going up the street here. You can see straight ahead is the Prime Terminal. That bright white light is the Prime sign. <clears throat> We're going to make a right turn because we need to go to the car, I mean the uh, truck entrance. Right there. Was, uh, He's following the speed limit. He ain't doing 90 down here on 45. You don't see that too often unless it's me running around. Well, I don't know. You ain't to the thing. I don't went around him and give them, you know, because you ain't to the construction technically. Yeah. Anyway, she's a good video up over here, woman. You guys been doing 30 mile an hour for an hour. Okay. Anyways, um, we're turning into the terminal here. <clears throat> As you see, they got it barricaded off, so you have to go over these metal plates right there. That is reading your truck information, tire pressure, all that good stuff, how it does it. I don't know, man. I'm not a scientist. So, being it's er, oh dark 30 in the morning, I think it's 5 in the morning here, according to the time on this. Um, they, no one's in there. No one's, you know, moving around. This ain't like the uh, spring filter. So as you see, they're just sitting there waiting for me, going, come on, give us something to do. <laughs> so I'm going to pull in here, give them a little toot toot so I don't, everyone knows I'm coming. Um, so this is our inbound. This is where they'll change the tires on the trailer, some minor repairs on the trailer, so on and so forth. They're going to test the, uh, 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 they're going to basically give the trailer an inspection, make sure it don't need anything, any work or anything. This trailer actually did. It needed uh, a PM on the uh, uh, reefer unit. As you can see, Movie Magic, we're already leaving the uh, inbound, which normally, <laughs> normally you're in there for a minute. Um, I'm going to pull out through here and you'll see me stop. I forget why I stopped. I was doing something with the Qualcomm. Um, I don't remember, but uh, anyways, movie magic, whatever I did, I'm done doing, and right about now, I'm thinking to myself, David, 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 did you get reefer fuel? Because we're dropping this trailer. Whether it's loaded or empty, did you get reefer fuel? And I'm thinking, I don't remember getting reefer fuel. How did I get sidetracked and not get reefer fuel? So you'll see, I'm going to stop. You'll see the door open because the crap I threw up on the dash is now illuminated. The ticket or the warning we got for the uh, DOT inspection and then the Pringles. And I'm running out there and I'm looking to see how much fuel's in the reefer. And I think it was like just under three quarters of a tank or something like that. So I'm not good with dropping a trailer like that. So look at how much time it's going to take me to go get fuel. I'm going to have to turn this beast around. Oh, where'd you get all those things for your wrist? I had them. They were in the thing where I put my earrings on them. They were sexy. I just never, I forgot about them until I put them on today. So I'm flipping it around. Uh, this here is the trailer shop. Uh, right here, all these bays with the, you know, all these windows. So you see trailers being worked on in there. I know I'm looking down, guys. I got the laptop right here. Because we're driving. I wanted to get this video out. This one wasn't, you know, it's not important. Oh, my God, if it shakes a little bit, your world's going to come to an end video. I just thought people would be interested in what it looks like to go in uh, into the terminal there. So now we're looking at outbound. You can see they only have one lane open, the one with the green arrow. So I'm going to go in there, and, of course, they're going to go, weren't you just in here? What the hell are you trying to do here, buddy? You just put your drop in this trailer. You can see we got load locks on the left. You got chains in those black cages on the right. Um, and you can see we got a scale in there, fuel pumps. A lot of you guys might might think this is pretty cool because you might work at places that don't have none of this stuff. And you just pull up to a dirt lot and that's your terminal. So I'm talking to the guy right now. And you can see my headlights. See my left headlight is higher than the right. I got to adjust that because that light, I don't know how it got out of whack, but it's blinding people. It's blinding people uh, when I'm driving because they're flicking their bright lights at me. Um, only when I'm on a really dark uh, uh, area, you know, normal freeway, no problem. But whenever I'm in an area where it's dark, dark, 
they flick their lights up. You don't like that? I just need the last point. Oh, okay. So we'll let we'll go ahead and probably movie magic this uh, and uh, get through it because nobody wants to sit. Okay, it should be coming now. All right, so. Here we go. The door is up. Off to the races. Off to the races we go. Now, when I go out here, the, I don't know what happened, but going from light to dark, the camera's passed. But we're making a, we're going to have to make a U-turn here, which is not impossible, but not an easy feat because of how tight it is. You can see there was curbs right there, and you see how close you are to going back into inbound. So you got to really swing it wide and uh, overshoot your spot and then you'll see i'm going to cut it really wide back to the right to get back under that trailer and boom we're lined up pretty good and we can go through this time they're gonna go okay uh mr david how many times do you want to play ring around the rosy here and so you see they open both doors because now they know okay we just gotta let you in we're not going to stop you. There's tires on the right there for, you know, putting on trailer tires. I think I told you that before. More fuel pumps. You can get fuel going in or out. Um, and those vents up on the roof, that's to catch your reefer exhaust while your reefers are running in there. Which is pretty cool. That floor in the, the inbound, outbound there is also heated. So in the wintertime, floor is nice and warm which makes the room nice and warm. You know, it's pretty cool. So now we're going to take off to the right there. You got some damage trailers and some other trailers. Um, far right building over there, that's docks. I think that's where they work on trailers where they need to run forklifts or some whatnot in them. I'm sure they would. that's where they would load and unload a trailer if a damaged trailer came in and they had to transfer product couple of damaged trucks sitting right there. Look at all these reefer units. I mean, why do we need all those reefer units? I wonder. That's one of the things I don't know, because so, uh, uh, Springfield has a bunch of reefer units like that, too. It's do they go bad that often or what? So now we're going to run over to the new wash bay uh, over there in the Salt Lake Yard. You see it's got uh, no one, no wait time there, so we're going to run it through real quick. I'm getting the truck and trailer washed. I don't need a washout. If the trailer wasn't loaded, I would get a washout, but it's loaded, so I don't need to get a washout. Here we go. This is our, uh, one of, uh, this is an auto washout. Now they, I mean, an auto washout. It's got rollers like a car wash. They can't use it on my truck because of my external antennas. So they have to scrub it by hand. So they probably love me and the guys that have it. And the surprise, I was really surprised when, I was really surprised when I pulled up. You see that green light, that's telling me it's okay to keep going. It's going to change red when I'm far enough in, which it went red, then it went back to green, which was bizarre. So then I scooted a little bit more and it went red. Now, if it goes yellow, you got to back up a little bit. But to my surprise, there's a young lady working in here at Odark 30. You'll see here, um, I didn't film all of the wash. I just filmed enough of it so uh, you can get the idea of what it's like. Right there, she's spraying on a soap solution. Um, so here we go. She's uh, Now she's hitting it with the high pressure and going to get all the bug guts and everything off. You can see the difference in pressure. But I'm just, I was just dumbfounded that there's a young female working. What's beeping? It's the, your thing, something's happening with the... With, with the dash cam? cam? Yeah, with the, yeah, I don't normal, yeah, I don't normally beep. So uh, there she goes. She's doing her thing there. Now, movie magic, I'm all done, and we're leaving the wash bay. We're going to go find a parking spot, and uh, we'll get that parking spot done. Get that parking spot done. That's not what I want to say. I don't know. You'll get, we'll get the. You'll get parked. We'll get parked. Yeah, I lost my train of thought because I started thinking, why don't I have this video somewhere else? Because I, oh, you know what? I edited it, 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 and I never saved it or rendered it. 
So there's no other file other than what I have there. That's why I'm doing it in the editor. So again, this is just show you guys what uh, the Salt Lake yard looks like. Um, you can see my laptop's on in the top right corner. I don't know if it's been on through the whole video or if it just came on. Maybe while I was in the wash bay, I opened it up because it was it was rendering a video or finishing a video. So here we go. Apparently, there's everybody was working because look at all these space we got. I'm going to elect to pull here. Now, one thing, guys, I don't care how much experience you got. I've been driving for about three and a half years. You're going to notice, see the truck come to a stop right here. Why it did that is because now I'm adjusting the right mirror, the passenger mirror, out so I can see exactly where that right trailer is. And I'm rolling down my window because the wash bay left it wet and hard to see. Oh, well, that's why so, I just moved in the morning when I had to be. Yeah. So I did that because this way I'm going to make sure I'm not going to clip that trailer because, as you can see, I brought the truck all the way back to the right to pivot it and bring it close to that trailer so I didn't have to do too much of a maneuver to get it parked. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm going to jump out with a measuring tape, make sure that I'm perfectly centered in the spot because when you're at a terminal, you never know if Big Dog Junior Honduras is going to roll in. And uh, I don't want him to see a crooked trailer that I parked. All right, try. <laughs> So I'm going to do my backup here, and I think I'm going to pull up once more. And guys, I no BS. I literally think that every time I park, I wonder where Junior's at. If, <laughs> I better park this straighter just in case he sees it. Now, having said that, I parked my bobtail next to his truck at Springfield uh, last time we were there. And it was oh dark 30 again in the morning. <laughs> and when I came out, I noticed I was crooked. I was like, oh, crap, I got to straighten that thing out. But uh, there we go. We're getting it straightened out. Pop the brakes. The lights come on because I'm going to jump out and disconnect that bad boy. And uh, now that we've disconnected it, movie magic, I did it 2.2 fractions of a second. We're now bobtail, and we're going to go find a place to bobtail and uh, park. Um. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I mean, it's just a little uh, run around in the middle of the night. It's kind of what you got to do when you go park at a terminal. You know, and uh, I hope I'm not shaking around too much. Hell, this might be a cool way of doing these, you know, when I got a minute. Because you're driving down the road. I don't know what uh, how it's going to turn out. It might turn out pretty cool. Although, you know, I'm, I'm holding the laptop, um, so it's not in her, in her, in her vision. And here we go. We're going to come around, come around the corner here. I should put it like this. That's why I'm looking right at the camera. I didn't even think about that. And you can see the new facility on the right hand side. There was some dude picking up trash with that forklift. I'm thinking to myself, don't back into me, dude. Don't back into me. And then I'm like, and then don't drive behind me because I'm going to back up right next to him. That's what I did. I pulled, I parked right next to him. There's a spot. And that was basically right at the entrance of the uh, uh, building. So here we go. Back that bad boy in. And that pretty much concludes the video. That was, that was the tour of Salt Lake City Terminal for Prime Inc. Trucking. I shouldn't say a tour. It was... Uh, arriving at. Arriving at and... Uh, what you what you technically want to do when you get there, you want to fill up your trailer, you want to wash it out, you want to drop it in a good spot, and then you want to get parked. Go in and uh, get yourself some breakfast, some coffee, or go in, get a shower, and go to bed, whatever you got to do. They've got bunk rooms there. But uh, the guy with the truck, you see the tractor attached. All those guys with the tractors attached, those are loaded truck guys who are just sitting there and waiting to leave, or they've got their empty and they're getting ready to leave. But they decided to, whoa, they decided to stay attached. They decided to stay attached to the trailer. Anyways, talk to you guys later.